Hello, my friends. This is Miss Sandine, and we're going to be doing print making. Print making, creating a print. We will be creating a print using styrofoam and to create a print. And a print is a copy. All right, so I'm going to give you some examples and first uh, materials. All right, so you need a styrofoam tray. This was a tray. Yes, this was a tray. What I did is I cut the sides of this tray to make it flatter. And that's going to be easier, not only for me, but for my students as well, because my students will be doing this. In my class, we've been learning about an endangered species of Florida. One of the endangered species of Florida is the Florida panther. Um, and the kids, the students, will also create the habitat where the Florida panther lives. So we're going to put some grasses here and put the trunk of a tree. And if you notice, I'm using a pencil uh, to draw on top of the styrofoam. I know, pretty weird. But what happens is that the pencil creates texture, textures how things feel. And literally, if you close your eyes, you can feel the lines of this Florida panther. I'm going to put the lines of the floor. You can put the sun if you want to. All right, materials. Aside from the styrofoam tray, you're going to need a pencil that is not too pointy. Actually, we don't need it pointy. And you're going to need papers. They're not too thin and not too thick. Like this is draw, like regular drawing paper, not copy paper, a little bit thicker than that. And we're just going to test it in this. It's um, almost like a card cardstock um, material, okay? You're also going to need acrylic paint. You can also use tempera, but I'm using acrylic paint. And you need is a brayer or a roller, okay? I know this is for uh, jelly uh, prints, um, jelly plates, but we're going to be doing that in a couple of weeks, actually probably in a couple of days in the video and a couple of weeks in the class, all right? So let's start. All right, so we have our Florida Panther drawn in with a pencil. Now, if you're not sure about drawing the Florida Panther like we did in the class first, you can draw your Florida Panther first, your animal or your object. And then what you do is you place it on top and you trace over the lines. And that lines um, create a mark on the other side. And then you go over with the pencil and voila, you have texture on your plate, on your printing plate. All right. To start, what we do, I'm going to put this on the side. You do need to cover your table, my friends, because it's going to get kind of dirty. Yeah, and I might get dirty right now. And I am going to put some acrylic paint, <clears throat> about a thumbs amount of a thumb. And if we need more, we get more later. And then what you do is you're going to roll that paint. And if you notice, this is just a plastic top. Uh, so that way I don't dirty more things. But if you don't have a plastic top, just use something that you can wash later on and it's okay permission from your mom if you're at home uh, but of course if you're in my class you know i provide you what you need so i'm going to roll the plate on the brayer sometimes it doesn't perfectly roll and i'm going to try to roll it as best as oh, yep it's blue now all right so i'm going to put this on the side and i'm going to grab my plate and hold it with my fingers so it doesn't move and with my other hand, I am going to roll the roller on top of the plate. And you're like, what? Yes. It is pretty cool, actually. Not only making the print, but having the plate colored in. I, I like seeing that. All right. So be sure the entire surface is rolled. Right? So you can see your lines. And if you notice, um, some parts are white. It's where my pencil poked a little harder, um, but it's a mark, it's fine. All right, so I'm going to put my roller or my brayer away on the side for safety. And I'm going to put my first paper. And by the way, when you're in my class, write your name and teacher in the back first. And then you're going to put it on top and then you're going to press. You're going to press and rub smoothly, not hard, not all crazy. Smoothly, smoothly. I like to press all the sides so I feel those lines showing up. It's almost like you're massaging the paper. Yeah. So let's press it, press it, press it. 
press it and then carefully hold the corner, lift it up, and you have a panther. Now, if you notice, the panther shows up in the opposite direction, okay? So we're going to make one more print so you see what's the effect on the leftover ink. I still have pretend ink, it's really acrylic. Um, I have on top of the plate, so I am going to lift that color out, meaning I'm transferring the amount of color I have on my styrofoam plate on the new paper. So I'm going to rub it, rub it, rub it. So as much color I get out, and yes, when you print, I do recommend you to do two or three copies of your object. So that way you can choose the ones that you like the most. All right. So this is the other one. It's a little faded. Okay. So if you want to print again, let's say your third one, you would have to take your paint and your brayer and roll the paint again. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. And this is washable. You can wash it. Just acrylic paint doesn't come out of clothes just like that. So be sure you cover your clothes like I have an apron on. <clears throat> or you can put an old t-shirt. All right, so we're going to do it again. Watch me. I hold my plate so it doesn't move. And with the other hand, I'm rolling the brayer in. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And I'm going to check that little tiny corner there. Check, 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 check the bottom, check, smooth it out. If it looks a little rough, smooth it out, smooth it out, get that, get that tail. All right, I'm putting my brayer back. This time I do want to uh, grab this cardstock. I just want to do that, so you don't have to, but I'm going to press. And since the paper is not that thin, I'm going to have to be checking as I'm pressing and smoothing out, smoothing it out, pressing and pressing, pressing and pressing. Massage that paper so the image shows up on the other side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, do I have everything? The tail? All right, let's see. Oops, stuck. You gotta be careful, this one got stuck. All right, so we have our print. So just to show you at the end, the results. So we have print number one, print number two, print number three, which is faded. And this is the printing plate, okay? So again, this was printing with the styrofoam. I used acrylic paint, a brayer. This is the acrylic paint. And to draw the lines or press the lines over, I used a pencil that is not as sharp. I wanted a little bit bland, you know, like not sharp. So, and then put details and then voila, you have your artwork. Thank you for watching.